Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to the returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. If this video uh, is truly resonating with you and give you the insight you truly need it, please go ahead and give a thumb up, thumbs up, and share. It is greatly appreciated. Before I get started, oh, well, let me go ahead and um, tell you the uh, title of the video. Um, you are the MVP of Challenge. Wait a minute. Twin Flame 101 and Hey Okas, you are the MVP of Challenge and you are the CEO of Change. And this is so true. This is so, so, so true. Um, you are, uh, before I get started, I would love to give a post notification shout out to my, my mom, Vicky. Uh, this, today is her birthday. And, um, also, uh, sending prayers out to Ray Liotta's family. He passed away today at the age of, uh, 67. If anybody never, um, know who he is, he played on Goodfellas. I think he played on Casino and Godfather. I can't remember. But I know he played on a lot of different movies that I really love. Um, and, um, yeah, and then they were saying uh, Jeff Bridges is uh, may not be uh, that he's on his way to transition into, and I hope and pray that you know God it is not over until God says it's over. So I'm hoping that God is not saying it's over. So please go ahead and send prayers out to their family. Um, the the video that we're um, that I'm talking about is just like you know VIP of challenge uh, MVP of challenge and CEO of change you are there's so many different things that you're going through you know this this Mercury retrograde is it, it is not nothing to play with this is like the mother of all mothers you know it is really coming in like karma is a you know and she really coming in for it it's like so many different things is taking place where it's showing you you the MVP. Look at how many different things that you, you know, that has flowed towards your way, you know, has taken place into your life that, you know, it, I mean, it really was sent to knock you down, you know, really knock you down. And a lot of times we try to figure out why does God let things happen the way he does, you know, and we have to understand God will be cruel to be kind. He will show love through the moments of pain. He will show strength in the time of tr struggle. You know, test to the times of being able to know you, his star pupil, you know, and all those different things. Because he's like, you know, we had to knock down the different things that was, you know, we was built on the truth. But it was, you know, it was on a foundation of lies. It was on a foundation of illusions. This is at that time to be steady in your strength. This is at that time to be very aggressive with your boundaries, not just with other people, even with yourself. You know, these are the different things to go about it is not taking nothing, nothing or no one personal. You know, anything that rises against you is here to teach you. Anything that's coming up, because it's like, um, from what I was reading, because um, if y'all go on my, um, where's it, like my channel, it's like some people are like, Rosalyn, I don't know where it is, especially Alexander, I'm telling you how, how to get to it. You go on my major page, and then it'll say channel. No, it'll say home. It'll say video. And it'll say uh, playlist. And then it says community. And then it'll say um, uh, about. When you'll see those different sections, you hit community. I leave my podcast there. I see different memes that I put there. Very uh, educational um, uh, insightful posts is telling you about different, me me uh, uh, what is it, uh, different um changes is going in the atmosphere where we can be affected you know my podcast uh different memes that are funny you know just positive insight you know in case you're going through something that day you know and just being able to do that but it's um when you put down some stuff it's like your emotions gonna be all over the place right now it's showing you a hey, anything that's coming up it's like certain things you may have thought you were, you you know, you um, have healed from, you have forgiven different people, forgive different situations, but it's telling you, you know, hey, you may um, uh, still hold certain aspects of uh, certain conclusions or certain chapters of your life or even old frequencies that are outdated that's telling you hey this is at that time we're updating a whole lot of stuff because it's like when i see it i see empaths and it's like we're, we're our own app okay and it's just like it worked for so long at some certain time but you know it's just like any app on your phone on your tablet your computer whatever um there's going to be a time where it's going to need you to clear your cache your cookies 
you know or it's time to update for these are the different things that's coming up where emotions are going to be all over the place you're going to be sad depressed angry you know ready to fight all those different things you know you're going to be combative with yourself getting pissed off with yourself you know being shameful being hurt you know you may even get triggered a time or two but these are those times it's like look we're showing you where where your healing needs to take place at you remember you're the v mvp of your challenges these are the different things that's showing you that you're the ceo of change you're building up a whole new empire and you're doing that from the ground up you know and it's like where else can you do it from the ground up well you can do it from the cement up or whatever but you know you still got to have that you know the foundation but you're going through all these different things uh of where where you can see where the illusion took place where you can see um, all the different things that has go um, that's going on um, that is tearing away from different things into your life that is no longer needed you know and for those things to happen it's telling you to really take the heart the lessons not take the heart of the energy but take the heart of the lessons of things that has really uh, took place in your life maybe have not been easy to digest may you know has really hurt you to core it was very uh, depressing it was very drastic it was very traumatic all these different things has taken place and it's really God, dog I keep on getting all these that one insights while I'm trying to talk y'all I'm so sorry because it's just like when I'm on that when they're on that vibe like yeah you you talking exactly what you need to say so every time that happens my, my top of my nose start itching real bad but you're you're going through these different things we're showing you you know you're winning this you got this it's like because everything is going on they're putting you there no matter what is taking place no matter what people are saying what people are doing you're getting t towards whatever god is has having for you and for that to happen you're going through a lot of intense changes because they're telling you where you're going anything that lags behind anything that puts you down at a vibration that is lower than where you're entitled to be at is coming up to the surface because it can't be there anymore you know, and it, it's just a lot of different things where it's going to either you're going to allow things to eat you whole, you know, or you're going to allow yourself to see this and say, you know what, it's trying to get me to where I got to go. So what do I need to do? I can't allow myself to be placed in resistance in my life all the time or get mad when I can't sit up here and I'm not hearing the things that I want to hear. You know, if they're telling me to wait, even though I'm mad, I got to wait. If they're telling me to be quiet right now, okay, I got to be quiet. You know, and these are the different challenges that's going on in your life because it's showing you, you have so much more power than you give yourself credit for. You have so much light that nothing can dim it. It lied to you to make you think that it was being dimmed. It tried to show you when you weren't allowing yourself to feel the worth because there was so many different things that's going on. This is like know your worth. Feel that love into yourself. This is at a time. If I've been in isolation. It's showing me I can be my own best friend. I took out everything in your life. That is you know. That has sold, served its purpose. You know. Allowed you to help you heal. And through that healing. You know. Everybody we deal with. Are, are, are helping us. They are healers. And that means the fact is. That when they're doing that. God, oh, when they're doing that. <laughs> when they're doing that that means it can be lies it can be deception it can be hurt it can be destruction it can be distractions all these different things it was a healer for me because it showed me where I needed the true work at within myself everything that I don't face that showed rerouted me to a part of myself that I needed to know to the core to the fullest it's showing me where my strength is through my moments of weakness. It's showing me through the times I felt defeated, where it's re, you know it's guided me and rerouting me to my moments of power. That is always there. Even when I felt like I, you know, I didn't win. You know, I failed. The, you know, I fumbled the bag. This is that time where no, there, there was, you know, that bag wasn't even meant for you. This is what I got for you over here. You know, these are the different things. That was just like a startup plan. I had you, you know, I had a whole section for you right here that was way bigger than that startup plan. But I had you, I had to be able to really trigger you in the moments where I'm going to allow you to see it. You, when you sit up here and I gave you that insight of what I promised you. And only gave you a snippet of what your life can look like. And this is what I'm going to give you. And through the moments of telling you this is what you can manifest in there, I'm going to start bringing all these challenges into your life. And you're going to ace them. 
You may not ace them right off the bat, but a lot of times they're telling you don't even beat yourself up if it, if it takes you a lot longer than it does other people. As long as you're showing up for yourself. No matter how long it takes you to get there, even with the baby steps, the baby steps can create a whole gigantic situation that you never knew that you can be able to do. Or these different things that where God don't sit up here and put you a mustard seed of insight of what I'm going to give you. It's like, what am I, how am I going to be able to make all this? I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have that. They said, stop using that word. You are creating a reality for you. When I'm telling you, you manifesting that through the alignments that I'm getting you there. Don't say, I don't. It's like, I, I'm not yet. It, it's heading its way. Whatever I have is within me, with the not, is coming its way. That's what they're telling us to stay hefty on our manifestations, our affirmations, our mantras. You know, work on how we talk to ourselves. Work on how we talk to the world. Work on how we talk about different things that's going on in our lives. Being able to see positivity even in the most negative circumstances. These are the things that's coming in my life and it's really pissing me off. But yeah, it's going to piss you off. But you, it's going to give you that fuel to keep on saying be consistent with yourself. Don't take anything personal. Don't allow what the enemy is doing to sit up here and define that is my truth. I know what my truth is. I know how I define myself. I know how I see myself. It's showing me everything that I'm a VIP. MVP of my challenges You know I'm the MVP of that These are the different things that I've conquered I didn't know how I was going to be able to conquer it But I was conquering Being able to change, switch up my vocabulary Allowing myself to refocus and recalibrate About what I keep allowing myself to keep going towards You know you switching up You're going to clear it up your whole GPS It ain't going to go towards drama Mishap What could have been What should have been This is like infinite infinite um, possibilities opening doors to new opportunities manifesting greatness allowing myself to be persistent and consistent that's where the universe is showing you in your spiritual GPS that you're going through you know for us to be CEOs of an empire of change we're building that on solid foundations illusions couldn't be able to build, build that up it would have just got it towards a certain thing and would have fell the heck down you want to be in a place where it's not built up on that. You Would you want to be able to climb into a building? It's like, oh, dang. This is nice. You know, you can't even get it out like, this is nice. What is that built on? Oh, you know, a couple of lies. You know, some setbacks, some failures. But, you know, um, it's built on solid illusions. You don't want, you know, you want to be able to buy that. Like, no. No, that's okay. You know, I was going over to the real recognize real versus real versus real over on Empire Academy Drive. So let me go ahead and go there. But thank you for showing me this on this woulda coulda shoulda uh, uh, lane. And, you know, over here by guess what what not. You know, setback on top of setback. <laughs> you know, I can't believe I can't manifest that street. You know, I'm going to out towards something that's just showing me power, consistency, persistent. You know, met, uh, motivation, determination is all built on that. And this is concrete, a solid truth. Unmasking the unmask. Everything is all real over here. It, it's like, it, it's not all watered down. Heck no, everything is 150 million percent proof. It's like the weakened heart can't enter the building. You have to have that stamp of, the seal stamp of approval of warrior. Everything that you are. You know, and you're finding that out through everything that you have gone through into your life. It's like you really know. Because it's at that point where so many different things is coming up. And it's like, even when things used to be that s certain situation that like pissed you off. It can get to you, get you to that point where it can come up again. And you be like, <laughs> Woo, I remember when I used to sit up here and trip off of that. Now I was like, I'm just thinking this is funny. As I don't know what. You know, and you're allowing yourself to see that because, and then it's just like, you know, universe is giving you that little whisper in your, you're just like, congratulate yourself, even on the littlest changes. Even if you went through the day and you had a couple of hiccups, you didn't allow that to mess up your day for the whole day. You allowed yourself to feel it, shake it off and keep going. Congratulate yourself. You see how the ego kept creeping up and wanting to sit up here and whisper in your ear about things that are out of your control or things different, you know, um, with supposedly it being said. And you're allowing yourself to get tone deaf and it's like, um, 
Didn't I dislocate myself from you a long time ago? Didn't I block you? You know, I done changed my number, my email address. I even changed my private name on my social media accounts. How are you able to still talk to me? You know, and you're at that point where you're not allowing ego and fear to make decisions for you. You the CEO. You know, the CEO is going to have different things that's going to come into his life just to test you because you can't afford to fold. You're at that vibration where you can't afford, afford to be doing the things that you used to. Because this is at that time where you have to understand, the, the, when you making them solid boundaries for other people and you saying, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to take disrespect, I'm not going to take triggers, all this. You are showing yourself th different things is going to come up where God's going to challenge you like that. He know what your weak spots are. The devil is too, but you have to understand God and devil had, it comes hand in hand, but they got two different intentions. You know, the universe knows, God knows where they're trying to get you just to be able to imagine how beautiful and breathtaking the view of your building of empire of infinite possibilities can be. They're showing you little snippets of that. They may show you where, where when you come in and you walk in and how beautiful it is the architect you know the different art you know the sculptures you may have in here then it may show you the receptionist right there you know you walking in and you seeing different stuff like that very beautiful and this is all yours it got your name on it when you come into the door they got a big personal picture of you right there or different people that you you know you're in but there's different people that are working a, a lot you know aside with you showing you this is yours how is that mine? I can't do this. No, it's like, but see, that's what we're saying. You need to get rid of that fear. You're like, what do you mean? I ain't scared of But look at the words that you're using. I can't. I don't know. You know, you're trying to manifest everything in its power right now. And they're really trying to show you this is what we can be able to do. These are the things that we can be able to do. But for this to happen to move in that next step, we have to be able to change our vocabulary. Use different verbiage. You know, use something that's positive. I will. I am. I'm going to. You know, I I can. I will. You know, all these different things is showing you that. Regardless of what anybody else is doing, allow yourself to stay focused on you. My mom always said, when you pay attention to other people, there's so many blessings you're going to end up missing out of because you're so busy dealing with somebody or messing around with somebody they ain't even worked that time. This is at that time where it's showing you, even when different things is coming up into your life, it's telling you, Allow yourself to disconnect from that. that that's a part of you that's not, you know, re, you, you're redoing that whole existence of yourself. That, that you have evolved so much since then. You know, you have learned so much since that. This is at that time where it's telling you, appreciate the experience. Let go with love. Have gratitude of what it taught. But disconnect from that energy it brought you. Disconnect from that sadness, that anger, whatever it was. You're going to have different triggers going to come in. But it shows you if there. It, it can't trigger you if you don't allow it to. It can't piss you off unless uh, you have to have permission for that. And these are showing you because this is what the, you know, the CEO is. This is at a time where you're going through a whole new reset. A whole turnover. So it's telling you what, what ties you going to cut. What umbilical cords are you about to come off of? And I said, yeah, I was talking, thinking about my girl, Christina Randall. She's like umbilical cords. I'm like, girl, what the hell is an umbilical cord? <laughs> and the over beast. But anyway, I said, we'll leave Christina alone. But you going through that. You you know, you cutting different cords off. It don't it, it don't vibrate with you anymore. This is at that time. Start unplugging. I use that post today, too. I'm going to keep unplugging. Anything they don't, it, hey, it, anything that's gonna disrupt my soul, take me out of my character of peace. I said, shoot, I, I was joking with myself last night. I'm like, shoot, you already know, and now everybody get on the playground can play with you, and you ain't that person that everybody on the playground can play with. You were that one that was sitting in the corner on that big high stool, shaking your daggone feet with that little hat on with that daggone propeller at the top. You know you don't play right. You know your elevator don't go out through the 13th floor, and your radio ain't tuned up. It's like, shh. You know, then you have to use extra foil with some antennas when it comes to you. And that mess don't even work out right. You know, it's like, you better go ahead and throw that away and buy another one because she ain't right. You know, and these are the different things now. It's like you getting aggressive, you getting assertive. You know, you, you come in to that vibration of where God is telling you, it, it, look, I, I'm testing you. 
everything is happening for a reason ain't nothing you going through is coincidence or accident and it's just like why every time i let go of these different things in my life you bring in more because i'm trying to show you who you are and when i'm showing you who you are i'm gonna show you through struggle that you got all the strength you have to overcome this. Even though you have a setback, it's, it's promoting you and preparing to promote you for a powerful comeback. Just because this failure happened, it's only giving you that preparation of success. You had to go through these challenges. If you didn't, you really wouldn't know what drives you. You really won't know what can piss you off just to make you stay consistent, just to prove to yourself, not anybody else, but to yourself, you got what it takes to overcome anything that connects with you. Yes, you may be going through a lot of stuff right now. Yes, you may not be exactly where you want to be, or you may not get exactly what you want right now, but it's preparing you for more than you thought that you deserve. You had to be able to go through the different things where karma's coming in, where it's showing you, I'm going to keep allowing these people to disappoint you. I'm going to keep allowing these people to make you mad until you have that enough, that enough strength to say, you know what, I just got to let them go. But I appreciate what I learned from them. I appreciate what I was taught from them. But now it's time for me to go. Let that go with love, gratitude, because it showed you so much, you know. Showed you so much, so much of what you don't want to be, what you could be, and what you can accomplish, and what you no longer need to entertain, what you need to no longer connect to or condone. These are all the different things that's showing you within that that turnover. What what is going to be something in in your building that is going to really keep adding more to your 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 company. You have to know that there's going to be certain things that's going to add pressure to you. But it's just like the add pressure you to diamond. They had to add pressure to you so you can know that your, your life is a diamond. You that special gem. You were that hidden gem for a good minute. But it was just like these di different things that took place into your life had to take place for that. For you to be able to know who you were to the core. That's why a lot of strange shifts is going on right now. You could be sitting up here meditating and stuff like that. And all of a sudden you start getting all this insight. You start seeing all these different things of what your life could be. Could be what it can be. Or it's just showing you all the different things that you let go of. That you didn't feel like you had the strength and power to do that. Different weaknesses is coming up to where it's not. You, you don't even associate with that vibe anymore. It's like you used to be f fluent in negativity. You used to be fluent and low vibrations, low attachments. Now it's just like you need a Benadryl just to even come close to that. Like, man, I'm allergic to that. I can't deal with that no more. You know, those are the different things because you you don't allow yourself to go towards the further of all these different things that it can take place in your life that can blow you clear out the water. And you know that, but these different things you had to be able to come against that because a lot of times you may try to understand why when I don't heal and let go of so many different things, why is God allowing different things to come in? Because he's showing you, I'm, I'm challenging you. So when you get to that, that point, it's going to be no matter what people's opinions are to you, it's not going to affect you. Your definition, your definition of how you define yourself is what's going to be important. I'm going to make you love yourself so much, people are going to have to get to know you all over again. Or there are going to be certain people who are going to have that outdated version of you. Like, hey, you need to uninstall and install that back because I, I, that ain't even me no more. And coming to you, all remember when you did that? Yeah, I remember, but um, I don't associate myself with that anymore. You can go back where you remember that at. You know, and be one of those different things that's coming into your life. But it's just like these are the different things we're showing you as a CEO. There will be different things where you know what is going to make your you going to know what is going to make your company grow and is going what is going to make your company suffer. And you're going to get to that point where you're going to start doing a checklist on any and everything, including everyone. Is this, is this going to be nurturing me? Is this going to take me to that next level? Is this going to be able to know I can go to sleep at night with peace on my heart? Being able to laugh every day. Being able to know that, you know, I, I got, you know, I got people in my life that is, is going to help me take my company in different places. You know, all these different things that's going on in my life that's really going to get me there. And that's what they're trying to get you to know. You are the MVP of challenge and you are that CEO of your empire 
you know you have what it takes that you you know you're gonna be in different challenges is where is is really going to take you there you know it's really going to take you there in those situations but it's just showing you you have what it takes look at how much you done conquered how far you have come even though you're still climbing up that corporate ladder they're telling you don't fall short don't give up you know even when you're not there just look how far you actually climbed you know you may be going up there and it's just like and it's start getting flimsy you know the further you go up the shaky it's going to be you know, but it's telling you don't 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 fall back. Don't even jump and say, "Hey, you about cuz you look down, you probably at the top of Mount Everest already is how far as you got and don't even realize it." So they're telling you stay consistent with yourself, stay persistent and stay consistent. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Ray Fisher and Julia Barton. Much love to you as well. If you're new to my channel, so good to have you. Please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual, spiritual networking and um, just being able to help you have a deeper understanding about your path of purpose. You know, and being able to get you towards what you need to know or what you're trying to understand why, why certain things take place. I love to be able to help. Whatever we speak on is confidential, and I'll help out the best way I can. I leave also leave the links to my podcast as well um, towards Spotify. Uh, for it's like a Hayoka hey podcast uh, section as well. It's not the same video, so it's different topics that I have, like I do here, and as well. And if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. So I hope you have a blessed, safe week. You know, please keep Ray Liotta's family and Jeff Bridges in, in your prayers. Um, uh, and what else? I'll say, please be safe and responsible with everything you do, even through social distancing. Please give uh, uh, vibrations of love, light, you know, uh, through vibes, frequencies, and words, whatever. <laughs> you know, anything that's going to uplift somebody, take them, uh, you know, take them a long way. And just because the fact is you took that time to do that, it will take you even further. So much love to you. Peace.